in today's video I'm going to be breaking down a simple uh, blitzing concept to make your base rush more effective in Madden 21. This is a simple three-man pressure that you can use from any formation really in the game uh, to really take your defense to the next level. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is entirely devoted to helping you get better at Madden NFL 21. We do that through tips, through tricks, through strategies, uh, through all of that fun stuff. And so we are going to be talking today about a video that I thought I got up on the channel yesterday, but it seemed to be uh, some issues with it. And so I wanted to show you this simple, 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 simple strategy to a base rush. Now again, if you haven't already and you want to really get more plugged in with my channel, make sure to join the Discord. My defensive ebook is releasing tonight. Uh, it's based out of the 4-6 playbook. We've got a bunch of A-gap pressures for you. We've got a bunch of edge pressures for you. And so that's going to be releasing tonight uh, as a Madden 21 update file to those who purchase a competitive bundle. And so right now it's on sale in the description. It's got my full offense, my full defense for $25. If you want to pick that up, that is going to be a really, really, really fun and great uh, defensive guide. I'm committed to that. All right, so dollar three two six. Um, this is any three down lineman set. So uh, we all know, or if you if you don't know right now, what you want to do with your dollar three two six is that you want to run man coverage. So you're going to go man align, play ball, cornerback matchups by speed or by route running, uh, and then you want to make sure that these are set at twenty yards. That's where you want to put your zone flats, your zone drops. Now, what that means is uh, basically we're, we're going to be rushing 33 players, and I'm going to show you today how to make it a little bit more effective. All you're going to do is you want to make sure to put your fastest guys on your defensive line. Um, so for the Patriots, we've got Brandon King here. We've got uh, Chase one of us. Your nose tackle is the one that succeeds, but literally all you're going to do is you are going to come out in the play cover to man and all you're going to do literally all you're going to do is you're going to crash your line to the left QB contain rush and pinch your line and then with Bentley what I like to do is put him in a quarterback spy and he's my user and what you'll see at the snap of the ball this doesn't always happen but you see we get some a gap pressure now through the course of the game, what you want to do, especially as they're starting to adjust to what you're doing, is you want to crash your line to the right and QB contain rush there, and you'll see you'll get the same kind of thing. You see Brandon King uh, slips right through the A-gap a little bit there, but it just gives them a nice little base rush uh, to make your opponent have to think about some things. Um, the, the middle pressure... Uh, scares a lot of people, at least in, from what I've seen uh, in head-to-head, -head, it has scared a lot of people. So again, you're just going to crash them to one side. It doesn't. It can be left or right. I think left personally works a little bit better. Uh, and you want to, you can leave Bentley on a blitz angle right here. Let him come down just a little bit, and you see you're going to get this disengage a gap. Now this is very consistent. Um, it doesn't always come in um, against, um, you know, like if they max protect or whatever. But if they're just sitting out running routes. Um, this little blitz right here just keeps them honest, in my opinion. You see the contains are kind of glitchy this year again, uh, able to get in against that. So you can contain rush on the left. You can also contain rush on the right. Again, I think it works just a little bit better if you contain rush on the right side of the screen. Uh, but you see here, you're going to see how if you do it the right side, you don't always get the disengage. But uh, some people like to crash down. But literally, that's the, that's the tip. Uh, just pinch your line, crash it to one side, and then contain rush it. And typically, you're going to find a lot of success. We'll show you this out of a different three down line set. Uh, cover four uh, from three, four odd. Another popular defense this year. So just pinch your line, crash your line to one side. QB contain. This is the blitz angles that you're looking for. And at the snap of the ball, what you're going to see is you're typically going to get some type of disengage. Looks like the center was able to pick us up there. It might be because we don't have our fast guys in. We'll run it one more time uh, and see if see if it, it gets a little bit better separation for us. But what I like to do is start out with the QB contains wide and then pinch them in. I think it does a little something to the lineman personally. But what you'll see here is again, there you see there's that contain coming through. Now in practice mode, you get nano detected a lot. In game mode, I haven't been nano detected very much. But that is a very simple concept uh, that you can utilize um, to, to deal with it. One other little concept here is a two-man rush. And again, I don't think this works as good. But it's basically just spying the guy to the side that's crashed. And then what you can actually do, and this is actually a concept here, this is a delay blitz concept. So literally it's kind of, it's, it's basically my way of re reimagining what a stunt would be like. But as soon as the play goes, I'm gonna click the right stick in. 
or as soon as that spy drops back out, I'm gonna click him in so that he's gonna come in at the in at the ball. So again, contain, and then I'm gonna spy guy, and then once he gets once we drop out, then put him back in. And sometimes he'll come right down the middle on the A gap. Not always. Um, but he will sometimes. Again, it's a very simple, simple, simple blitzing concept. It's a very, you know, it, it's it's basically my way of trying to re-engineer what a stunt would be like in the real NFL. Um, so you see right here, you can you can kind of get you can kind of get some really really good pressure from it. Um, it's not a hundred percent consistent. It's also um, I will show you one other tip here with this. Um, from a four down lineman set, I actually think that it, it could work a little bit different, a little bit better. So if you're like in four three, um, four three under would be a good one to show you. So I'll just come out and cover three sky again. This is universal. This is any any defense. You're just looking for specific types of blitz angles. So all you're going to do with this is I'm going to crash my line down, and then uh, I'm just going to zone off guy or spy him, and then I will do the QB contain rush. And what you'll see here is at the snap of the ball, you're going to get these disengages right up the A-gap. As you see, somebody comes free. You can do this from any formation in the game. That's why I call it a base rush. Uh, in my opinion, it's the best way to do base rushes this year. Um, you can also do it this way uh, if you want to. Whoops. You can pinch the line here, get them a little bit closer. But now it's that simple three-down lineman. Uh, it's basically... It's basically the simple, 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 simple blitzing concepts. Now again, you want to make sure that the side that you're crashing to, you're containing to the opposite side. So here's here's a crash to the left, and there you see there's the they're gonna loop in. Now again, they don't come in 100% clean every time from every formation. Obviously, some formations work a little bit better than others, but in my opinion, this is the best way to do a base rush in the game. I do this all the time. From my nickel 35 defense which is going to be fully released tonight we have uh, a ton of pressures out of it but in my opinion uh nickel 35 is is one of the most slept on formations uh, in that once again uh, nobody realizes the pressure that you can get from it um, and even quarter normal like uh quarter normal you can pinch them in and literally same concept uh, it might not work as good from quarters um, yeah it doesn't work as good from quarters because the linemen don't get close enough to the, to the ball carrier but out of dollar it out of dollar it works really really well uh, in combination with your pass coverage so you have a good coverage now you have a good way to get pressure from this and there's also we also uh, released I think earlier today uh, more of an aggressive pass rush that you can utilize out of uh, dollar three to six but having a, the ability to have some semblance of pressure, uh, even the illusion of pressure is enough this year. So again, right through, and you see there, get that slip, and he's gonna get that quick block shed while you're in max max coverage. So that's, in my opinion, the best base rush in Madden NFL 21, at least uh, the best base rush concept. I think people have probably already been talking about it, but I've been talking about it for a couple of weeks now. Um, but anyways, guys, um, that is that's the concept so you can do that in combination with a lot of different things to really make your defense locked down um if you haven't already guys make sure make sure just go ahead and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and you're still watching this video what are you doing uh, my channel posts four times a day tips and strategies we talk about the meta every day talk about different tips and tr tricks and counters to the meta and all that stuff so if you guys are looking to take your game to the next level, first subscribe, but second and a very close second is to consider joining my Discord. My Discord is a great place to get your questions answered, to not only meet me, but to meet 200 of my closest friends uh, in Discord as we have some really, really good players over there. It's just a really, really good community. It's been a lot of fun to see that grow. And so uh, if you want to meet some new people and you want to get some good lab partners, that Discord, Discord is the best place to do it. We can talk through Discord all day. But uh, anyways, make sure to join it. And I will see you guys in my next video. And reminder, we are going to go live tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern time showing these tips and tricks in real gameplay. So if you do want to see that, just go ahead and come to the stream. We'll see you guys tonight.